Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for now, just a review on another Unto Frankisches Pils. This one is from Brauerei Weinisch, located in the town Geroldshofen in Unto Franken. And it's um, the Weinisch Premium Pils now, and it comes in this um, so-called NRW bottle. As you can see, a quite popular bottle uh, type for many German brews, and gives a very typical uh, Unter Frankisches impression also this beer in many ways. You can show the top cap right here which has no print on it. The top label and the main label Weinisch Premium Pilsner. And here you see the coat of arms of this brewery and really easy looking uh, label. Basically here is also the, the back label. I'm gonna read through the information from that label later on in the review. Um, but uh, yeah, it gives a very typical impression of this whole brew. I'm gonna link to the brew's website in the description box below so you can feel free to check out that as well. After the review, if you're interested, uh, thanks to my friend who sent me this bottle so I could review it here in the channel, that's very appreciated. I also got the lager from him from this brew that I'm gonna review in the future, which has a red label instead of the blue one. But I decided to go with the premium pills today. Um, and uh, yeah. One closer look at the label before we begin and open it up. Weinisch Premium Pils now. Always right time for uh, an Unterfränkisches Pils. Unterfranken, which is the home in Bavaria, in my opinion, for uh, Pilsners, the beer cell Pils. Uh, that's the impression that I've got at least. So, open up the bottle and pour it up into the, for the beer cell, I would say, well fitting glass. Always important to use the right type of glass for the person that you're reviewing or enjoying from. In this case, I like this glass real much. I think it fits nice with, with the bear style. Uh, also important, of course, while you pour up to uh, create quite much foam uh, because it unleashes the, in the, unleashes the right aromas from the uh, ingredients. So, uh, meanwhile, while we wait for the foam to sink down, we can take another look at the label. Again, Weinisch Premium Pilsner. Uh, Weinisch Premium Pilsner gebraucht nach dem Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot. Uh, Weinisch Biere stehen unter ständischer Qualitätskontrolle. Daher bieten diese den unverwechselbaren vollen Biergenuss der besonderen Art. Ob Lager, Schwarzbier, Premium Pilsner oder Weißbier, für jeden Geschmack ist etwas dabei. Alle Biere werden nach alter überlieferter Rezeptur und dem hohen Qualitätsanspruch hergestellt für den sich Familie Wehner verpflichtet fühlt. Zutaten, Wasser, Gastmann, Hopfen, Hopfen, Extrakt, Alkohol, 4.8% Volume. Um, yeah, that's the information on the, on the label. Let's get the aroma. Which is really, really fresh. Yeah, the hops taste is of course there. That's what you want from a pills, of course. The typical hops taste that is so pleasant. So we rub it all into the glass, and as you can see, foam at above the edge of the glass. Looking nice with its two finger white foam crown, very golden in its appearance. So, as you can see, foam at the, above the edge of the glass, that's how it should be. So, let's give it a try the Weinisch Premium Pilsner. Post. This one is um, is tasting great. Um, very typical flavor, I would say, for being um, a German pils. The uh, strong hop taste is there. That's what you want from pils, of course. So uh, no doubt about it that it's uh, a recommendation. A really nice uh, premium pils, in my opinion. Um, I think it's. Uh, I think it is a, a pleasure to enjoy it. Weinisch Premium Pils now. Really nice one. So, I hope you're gonna visit the Bruce website also. Uh, but now, some. Um, we can start with some information from one of my books about um, Bavarian brews. Um, if you're interested, we have this book right here by Stefan Mark, the Neue Fränkische Brauereikarte. And here you can see. Uh, 
very vinyish, how it's looking like, looking like this, uh, how like vinyish. Uh, yeah, there's also the logo once again. Just what it looks like, like a typical uh, Franconian brewery. That's what I like, the old fashioned. Uh, uh, Franco number is Blanc by Vanish uh, 97447 Geraldshofen Rüxhofer Strasse 5 Inhaber Paula uh, Paul und Mathilde Wiener Telephone number 09382 10 uh, 24 Brauerei founded uh, Brauerei besteht seit 150 Jahren so, the brewery has existed for 150 years. Pils, Dunkles, Export, Urel, Hefe, Weissbier, Bockbier. The most getrunken Pils, Selbst, Apollo. Uh, Fässer, ab 10 Liter. Ausstoss, uh, 2000 Hektoliter. Brauerei, um, Gaststätte, yeah, Brauerei, Weinisch, Gerundhofen. Some information about that, from that... Uh, Review uh, from that book. Now over to the to the website about this brewery and the information that is the uh, Brauerei uh, Gasthof Weinisch offers you high quality food and drinks based on the traditional Franconia recipes that are unparalleled in the region. Ever since we fo were founded in 1870, we have been offering our guests first class food and drink service. Due to the good reputation we have acquired over many years, we feel obligated uh, not only to maintain this high standard, but uh, to surpass it again and again. This is the only way we can uh, uh, win you as a guest who will be happy to visit us again. The Br Franconian Brewery and Inn Weinisch is a traditional family business and has been known in Lower Franconia for its homestyle Franconian cuisine for decades. Many travelers, whether on bikes, motorbikes, or uh, as hikers, use the inn in uh, romantic Gerolshofen for a rest to uh, strengthen themselves and to recover from everyday life. We offer you cozy guest rooms uh, in a traditional atf atmosphere. Hospitality is very important to us because relaxation takes time. Our employees offer you good plain food and drinks at reasonable prices and we prepare everything fresh for you. Sounds great, of course, and I look forward to the lager also that's coming in the future because Weinisch Premium Pils doesn't disappoint me from Gerald's Hofen in Unterfranken. Think that's it for now. Hope that Mary is and see you again in the next Bavarian period.